The Jewish tribes of Arabia were ethnic groups professing the Jewish faith that inhabited the Arabian Peninsula before and during the advent of Islam. It is not always clear whether they were originally Israelite in ancestry, genealogically Arab tribes that converted to Judaism, or a mixture of both. In Islamic tradition the Jewish tribes of the Hejaz were seen as the offspring of the ancient Israelites. According to Muslim sources, they spoke a language other than Arabic, which al-Tabari claims was Persian. This implies they were connected to the major Jewish center in Babylon. Certain Jewish traditions record the existence of nomadic tribes such as the Rechabites that converted to Judaism in antiquity. Tribes Some of the Jewish tribes of Arabia historically attested include History of immigration Contemporary researchers have pieced together a mosaic of Judaized Arabian tribes but we have little evidence that Judaism found its place in the Arabian Peninsula by immigration of Jews, which took place mainly during six periods After the collapse of Kingdom of Judah in 586 BCE After the Roman conquest of Judea after the Jewish rebellion in 66 CE, and the destruction of Jerusalem by Titus in 70 CE, exiles found a home in the desert. Survivors of the Bar Kokhba revolt, in 135 CE, who sought religious freedom in the Arabian desert rather than live under the yoke of the Romans. Immigration, around 300 CE, by people who are known in Islamic literature as the Banu Aus and the Banu Khazraj who fled the Ghassanids in Syria. Migration from Judea into southern Arabian Peninsula to ride the ascent of the Himyarite kingdom around 380 CE. Topic: <inaudible> Arabized Jews. The Sinite Jews have a tradition that their ancestors settled in Yemen 42 years before the destruction of the First Temple. According to Jeremiah, some 75,000 Jews, including priests and levites, traveled to Yemen. The Banu Haban in southern Yemen have a tradition that they are the descendants of Judeans who settled in the area before the destruction of the Second Temple. These Judeans supposedly belonged to a brigade dispatched by King Herod to assist the Roman legions fighting in the region. The Himyarite royal family in exile commanded vast wealth and resources, particularly the Nabataean Bedouin with whom they had controlled the market of trade by land from northeast Africa for centuries. By the close of the 5th century, the Banu Aus and Banu Khazraj had become masters of Yathrib. During these events, or possibly in coordination with them, Yathrib was host to a noble visitor. In 470 CE, Persian king Firuz was attempting to wipe out the Exilarchate. The Exilarch Huna V, who was the son of Mar Zutra Bar Mar Zutra, whisked his daughter and some of his entourage to Yathrib Medina for safety. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Judaized Arabs. In about 400 CE, Himyarite king Tuba Abu Karib Asad Kamil (385–420 CE), a convert to Judaism, led military expeditions into Central Arabia and expanded his empire to encompass most of the Arabian Peninsula. His army had marched north to battle the Aksumites, who had been fighting for control of Yemen for a hundred years. The Aksumites were only expelled from the region when the newly Jewish king rallied Jews together from all over Arabia with pagan allies. The relationship between the Himyarite kings and the polytheistic Arab tribes strengthened when, under the royal permission of Tuba Abu Karib Asad, Qusai ibn Kilab reconstructed the Kaaba from a state of decay, and had the Arab al-Kahanan build their houses around it. Qusai ibn Kilab was the great-great-grandfather of Sheba ibn Hashim Abdul Muttalib. Sheba ibn Hashim was fifth in the line of descent to Muhammad, and attained supreme power at Mecca. Qusai ibn Kilab is among the ancestors of Sahaba and the progenitor of the Banu Quraysh. When Qusai came of age, a man from the tribe of Banu Quzas named Hulel Hillel was the trustee of the Kaaba, and the Nasa NASI, authorized to calculate the calendar. Qusai married his daughter and, according to Hulel's will, obtained Hulel's rights to the Kaaba. Hulel, according to Arabian tradition was a member of the Banu Jurham. Banu Jurham was a sub-group of the Banu Qatani from whom the Himyarites originally descend. Around 455 CE, the last Himyarite king is born, Zarah Yusuf ibn Tuban Asad Abu Kalib du Nuwas or du Nuwas. 
He died in 510. His zeal for Judaism brought about his fall. Having heard of the persecutions of Jews by Byzantine emperors, Du Nu was retaliated by putting to death some Byzantine merchants who were traveling on business through Himyara. He didn't simply kill them with hanging. He burned them in large pits, earning him the title, King of the Burning Pit. These killings destroyed the trade of Yemen with Europe and involved Du Nu was in a war with the heathen king Adug, whose commercial interests were injured by these killings. Du Nu was was defeated, then he made war against the Christian city Najran in Yemen, which was a dependency of his kingdom. After its surrender, he offered the citizens the alternative of embracing Judaism, under coercion, or being put to death. As they refused to renounce their faith, he executed their chief, Harith ibn Caleb, and 340 chosen men. <inaudible> Rise of Islam The Jewish tribes played a significant role during the rise of Islam. Muhammad had many contacts with Jewish tribes, both urban and nomadic. The Jews began to distance themselves from Muhammad, not recognizing him as a prophet. The eating of pork has always been strongly prohibited in both religions. It is noteworthy to mention that the holy day of Friday was never considered holy in the sense that Shabbat is to Jews, and although Islamic and Jewish dietary laws share many similarities, the two sets of rules are not identical. The shift of the prayer direction from Jerusalem to Mecca can be viewed from a religious perspective too. The claim being that it was a divine test from Allah to distinguish the true believers that followed the Prophet Muhammad, from those who would turn their back on the Prophet of Allah, Quran 2-143. In 622 CE, Muhammad, hoping to capitalize on Jewish Arab despondency at successive military defeats, abandonment by Persian Jews, loss of Jerusalem, the murder of the exilarch Nehemiah ben Hushiel, and the renewed opposition of the Banu Quraysh, set out for Taif. Muhammad worked hard to turn the hearts of the Jewish Arabian and pagan tribes from the Jewish prophecies and pagan beliefs respectively, hoping that the Jewish Arab tribes waiting for redemption at the hands of a Messiah would receive him well. But when Muhammad arrived in Taif, and called upon the Jewish tribes to hear his teachings, he was rejected. In late 622 CE, Shalom ben Hushiel went to visit Muhammad in Medina, and offered his submission desiring conversion to Islam. With the submission of an exilarch, Muhammad found resistance to submission by some Judaized Arab tribes begin to wane. Some of these tribes, or some of their members, were conquered and given the option to convert to Islam. Some lived as crypto-Jews, while others remained Jews living among Muslims though protected by the constitution of Medina. The Banu Kanika was expelled for their hostility against the Muslims and for mocking them. They left for modern-day Durs in Syria. The Banu Nadir tribe was evicted from Medina after they attempted to assassinate Muhammad. The Banu Kareza, was wiped out after the Battle of Trench where they were accused of attempting to ally themselves with the invading Quraysh. See also Arabian tribes that interacted with Muhammad History of the Jews in the Arabian Peninsula Yemenite Jews Mizrahi Jews Arab Jews Du Nu was Moses Maimonides Banu Israel References, <references>